What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of this project. Um, if you are new to this channel, we've been uh, doing some series of uh, videos about this project. It's currently under construction, so whatever challenges, anything that comes to our desk, we try to share with you. So um, if you have um, been following us, welcome back. Uh, we'll continue where we left from the previous MAP for the roof or stormwater drainage for this project as you can see that's basically what we did um, from the previous video so if you haven't watched the video check the link at the top right corner or in the description so that you can understand some basics on concept why we came up with this type of roof uh, or stormwater drainage system so yeah we'll continue with um, the left part we have different scenario here to tackle and if you look at it comes with uh, different challenges so like i said this project gave us a lot of challenges and that's what makes it very interesting for us to to work on and we are eager and up to the game to try um do our best so everything that i said we're going to share with you and uh yes let's get started we're going to start with the situation here this is our draining that is um roof slab we have already made another collection point here and that is not enough or is not sufficient for the whole water here so what you need to do is to show some um, drainage um, direction we need to direct water to this um, collection point and also we need to direct water to this collection point normally to represent that in the in the floor slab or in the roof slab you have to draw a line that will show the proof for i already placed some um arrows here indicating the roof fall to this direction but this side also we need to take this uh, pick this and then control to add a copy control e to rotate um vertical like that and then i need to show where the where these two sloping meets especially i will use this corner or i can use uh this line so I'll just use a, a, a 2D line from the documents. Let's just pick a, just a normal line, right? And then let's give it a dashed line type. And then, okay, I can decide to split it here because we need to split the roof so that the slab, so that the concrete, so that uh, guys on construction site needs to understand where the um, roof sloping um, meets so in this case it's going to be split it here on this side it's going to fall this direction and then the side is going to fall also this direction hence we're having some outlets here some collection points there so what i'll do i'll just pick uh, because we already have the outlets here on this position or at this height which is around 6.2 i'll take a copy of this add hit control to add a copy and then let's place it here we can control e and rotate it horizontally like that and then move it to the position we need to get rid of the the lines because i was just using it as a guideline so yes i'm going to have some pipes coming from this to join as you can see the sketch to join the main pipe that will carry or collect water all the way to this direction and it's going to fall onto this duct so that's the whole concept so we're going to use the one pipe that will run all the way to the duct and this pipe will be used by all these collection points to discharge into this pipe so that's basically the whole concept normally when you're doing routine you would need to have a guideline or a line that will guide you so in this case i'm having this i can use a polyline for example then i'll start a routine from here that will go all the way like that it will go all the way to here then here it will drop off by the height of the duct let me give it a different line type it can be uh, touched with dotted yes okay 
so that's not confused i think let me just get rid of this because it will confuse you so it applies with you this was just made quickly for to explain to the contract but now i'm doing the real thing so i need to get rid of this line so yeah that's basically what the line will be following to do our routine so we're gonna have line that will come from to discharge to the pipe there same applies to this outlet and we're going to have the same here and then the same there so this is going to be out like that perfect so we're going to repeat the same thing to the other points but let me just uh, do this part and do the routine so i'm on an architectural profile so we need to convert this profile to map so I'll go to options um, menu and then under work environment let's go to apply profile and set this to map engineering profile 26 there we go we will now we have tools of um maps as you can see our ductwork pipework cabling and all the likes because we are dealing with um, the storm water drainage we are dealing with um pipework tools so and this side is the map routine window that basically we use it to do our routine so yeah we have already a system that we set remember uh, last week which is the storm water drainage system and it uses the layer for building uh, plumbing systems which is fine so if we let's cut a, a section here so that you can understand how crop this part of heat control F so that we understand yeah so we are collecting water from this outlets and then it will run through this uh, beam or concrete and then go all the way to the duct using a single pipe so now we need to start routing from there and then go all the way so i need to um get the height of the routine starting point so let me just right click on this um slab and hide it so that you can have a clear window to the points so i'm going to zoom in here and then i'm going to put a cursor there or oh, i just can select it let's ungroup if you select you see this is the point this is the midpoint the anchor point of our our starting point of the routine so we need to take this height because we're going to start our routine at this height so if you put your cursor here it will snap the the point and then hit on control z to bring the tracker the tracker we have will pick the the height coordinate or the z coordinate which is that being selected let's just hit control c and then from here we're going to paste the coordinates value there which is 6618 millimeters high so that's basically where we are starting our routine we're not going to root on a 3d because we have it's a complex um uh, system so we're going to go back to the roof plane and then um that's where we are starting our routine or the best thing is to let's see first let's see first let me see let me see let me see okay i think it's fine we can mind you you can um start doing the whole routine sorry and then you can come later and adjust um some or tweak a few adjustments if you want so you cannot don't try to be 100 percent for the first time in your routine you can leave some um, allowance to come in and just view the you know what i mean so yeah let's start our routine our routine has to match the radius or diameter of the outlets if you look at sorry if you look at where we are connecting our pipes which is basically here it is the it is the it has a radius or diameter so that's where we need to we're going to have the same pipe diameter i'm trying to explain that so if you open its settings you'd see the diameter of this is 100 hence we're having 100 here for our our pipe work so make sure because we're saying we're using pipework to do the the stormwater drainage so 
you have to load pipework tools here so that you can access this if we change here to ductwork it will give you a ductwork but we are dealing with um, pipework tools okay let's start our routine oh i already started routine on it but i can just pick here and then let's indicate we are going this direction let's finish and then see that's basically it. but what i want like i said like i said we need to do the routine on a uh, roof plane view but what i've realized is let's create a situation first because we're going to have a bend from a bend pipe from this outlet to join the straight pipe which is the main routing um, system so let's click on the bend pipe and then we're going to pick this point there we go and then uh, we can move it to pick the previous uh, as you can see to pick the previous um, settings of the pipe but what I can do let's just mirror we need to mirror it uh, mirror it vertical so to mirror it let's say go back here there we go we have it there we have it there click select it and mirror from the pet palette mirror it vertical like that so it's easy now we can start our routing on this bend pipe so by default it we have it has to pick the height of of this bend pipe let's see let's start it there but in this case was let's say start routing and then we're going to pick oh it didn't pick it when i clicked in pick let me escape go back here on 3d let's uh hover the cursor here to this point and control i mean uh, hit on z in your keyboard to get the height from the tracker let's get the z coordinates paste it paste it there which is 6518 so if we go back to the roof then we can start now we know we're starting at the accurate or the correct height then i can follow now that the polyline i've created as a guideline to run a routine all the way to here and then when it, when it gets here it has to go down by a negative because i'm going down it's going to be a negative value it's going to be negative 6.5 oh sorry negative 6.5 then hit ok you can now finish routine so that's our pipe from here um we can join this but we can appreciate it on 3d if you want you see it's now cleanly um rooted so it goes all the way so we can show all in 3d just to check the results yeah that's our pipe it goes within the concrete all the way oh my god okay all the way to to this duct but it's uh i think i made a mistake especially here let me hit undo so that we start all over again you will see my point because when it gets here by the duct it has also to go outside and discharge on the surface so i didn't cater for that so let's start all over again I'm gonna start the routine pick that point and then go all the way like that to here and then hit let's select the construction method to move vertical and um, because 6.5 was too much let's go for uh, maybe four meters or oh, before before we do the the routine let me escape and then we take the height of the this part let's find uh, this it's gonna come here and then go all the way we need to estimate this height but it's 6.2 i don't know why it's yeah it's almost 6.2 or six meters okay because it, it has to discharge somewhere here 
let's start it all over again start routing click on this point let's go direction with those points like that and then here we change direction to negative six meters and then hit ok we indicate the direction of the charging um, you can uh, hit shift and hold to restrict it to um, author mode if you know what I mean and then I'll click it there let's finish routing but there we go let's check on 3d it went all the way to I don't know why but it's not a big problem like I said you can come later and adjust I don't know why it's added this pipe I can delete the pipe and then um, I'll pick this outlet move it to the height that I want the discharge to be just above the the ground level something like that and I can right click and hide this layer for the wall so that it I remain with this and then I can take this pipe all the way this is uh, one of the tricks you need to do to join the two pipes you have to glue them together so that they can understand or they can formulate a relationship because this is a system so you have to um, what you call stretch it all the way to create space so that you can see the point the anchor point for the pipe you want to glue to it for, for example if I pick this point and then I'm going to click on the point of this pipe it to glue them together bonds them um, together as you can see now it's a complete um, system and then for the discharge I want this to be also um, elevated a bit with an angle so I would uh, make sure just slope it a bit like that perfect so that when water comes it just it discharged um, easily because it's coming from the top yeah that's basically it well, like I said before for you to navigate and maneuver around you have to select one of the elements and then that's when you can um, zoom in a bit with an easy without your elements running away or disappearing from your screen okay that's basically it and we can detail this further like I said in the previous video for the MAP to for example let's see on this one you see the system it's detailed because it has it reflects where the pipes have been joined yes you can also have the system like this especially when you are gluing the pipes it, it's called welding even if it's regardless of the materials the different materials of doing the pipes you can have PVC or steel but still normally we associate it welding in this case even if it's pvc or plastic or different material it's just welding so i'm going to select all the straight pipes in the system select all the straight pipes and then what we are going to do make sure you zoom in there is a pipe here as well I don't think we should have this pipe I don't know why let's just delete that and stretch this one all the way to there ok I'm going to have this pan select only the straight pipe because the system it's, it's assembled with different uh, pipe tools as you can see there are different types of pipes tools here we have a, a pipe tool which is the straight pipe a bend a transition and a takeoff or a t tool a takeoff and just like that so you would find a system is, is comprises different um, pipes um, tools for example so you need to know and understand how these tools works for in this case I'm, I want to add the flange to the whole system I know it's easy to have the flange on straight pipes unlike on bends or transition pipes because that will mess up the whole system of your thing so I demonstrated that from the previous video 
so if you want you can go and check but i also cover it a bit on this one for the sake of you who didn't watch the video so from here once you've selected all the strike pipe you open its settings we come here under connections what we want to do is to set up the connection type to flanged and then we're going to set the width the flange width to 50 millimeters and then um the flange diameter to be 120 because flange diameter represent b here on this graph as you can see and a is the original uh, diameter for the pipe so we're adding a layer of 20 on top of 100 so that we can have that groove where we can connect the two pipes so we have uh, two sides of the pipe there are two ends of the pipe remember and then we have main one and main two so on main two it has to be the same as main one but that is not always the case i will show you the scenario where you can have a different settings for the or the main or all the ends of your pipe but in this case i'll just say same as main one and then hit ok there we go now we have um flanged added to our system let's go down here that's the scenario i was talking um, if you look at it, it has to be open because that's the one that discharged water there. So I'm going to select uh, this and open its settings. Instead of having main 2 same as main 1, I'm going to say no. Uh, I'm checking this box and then let's use welded. Then hit OK. It will open up your pipe. That's basically how you do it, um, ladies and gentlemen. So now we have the system that collects water from all the points that we um, assigned so we need to connect those points to the pipe so for example we have this one what I can do um, I'm going to start by adding the bands to all these guys so I can say let me select the bands and uh, I wanted to do it I want to isolate this by hitting control F it becomes easier for me to work and then i would say p parameters of this bend pipe and then click do the same to this one perfect and then i can have a straight pipe on this going all the way like that another straight pipe like that. oh sorry to this so now for us to let's go to the plane for us to join this um pipes to the main part to the mainstream you cannot just stretch it like this and join t it won't recognize this you need to have um a, a connection tool here that will take this and to the mainstream we're going to use um a takeoff it's either we use a t but in this case because we already have existing pipe to join it we're going to use um the pipe takeoff tool so let's click on that and when we get here we want to we want to pick the center of the center of the pipe it's going to be very difficult because we have lines here so the kesa you can tell it snaps the lines instead of the the pipe you can try hit tab but nothing would happen so what i'll do um let me say i'm going to delete this um, line because it already served its purpose same applies to this one so if you go back to the takeoff tool now if you hover your case up on top of the the center line of the yeah, the center line of your pipe it will change the case up to into a mercedes benz that's you know that you can now click to recognize that it will give you this this is where you choose or indicate the direction of your pipe in this case it's going to be downwards like that perfect now we have a connection point where we can connect the, this outlet so it's a matter of aligning this to there so it can connect 100 percent so i'll select this um, um take off pipe and then restrict it to move horizontally um, by holding shift by holding shift like this and then i would use this pipe as a guideline and then click now i'm 100 percent sure they are they are aligned so i can take this uh, pipe to or let me use this one to join them it didn't highlight this is because um they're not glued so it's always important it's always 
important to make sure the pipes connect and they have to recognize each other that we are one system so i'll say undo the reason that makes or the reason being here is we have a flanged normally when you have a flange it's difficult to glue the glue the pipes together so we need to convert this into a flange sorry into come in to connect the takeoff pipe we are not going to the connection type is, not, is going to be welded and then hit ok so now if we stretch this to the it will recognize that and then they will glue it with if you still want to add your, your flange you can still do it on this pipe like I said normally use straight pipe to do that to add flange so I'm going to say the connection type is flanged and make sure the flange diameter is 120 to add a layer of 20 millimeters then the flange width is fine at 50 millimeters then it will add flanged in both sides so let's do the same to this um, outlet let's delete that line in this case i've just picked parameters of this uh, takeoff pipe and then click on the center indicate the direction like so and then we can also pick the oh, we already had have a pipe here but we need to make sure they are in line so let me just use a move and shift hold to restrict it horizontal like that and then use this midpoint of the pipe as a guideline to align them now we are 100 percent sure they are aligned so let's glue them together by using the move node and then they will be glued together to be a one system let's select the straight pipe and convert um, the the connection type to flange set the flange diameter to 120 and then hit ok so now we have a complete now system for this collection point to the mainstream so if we check on 3d what happened to this one nah. oh because um, this is it connects with the mainstream let's just say show all perfect so that's basically what we have ladies and gentlemen so what will be collected there and then run through um this pipe we're going to repeat the same um situation here and uh for this point and then try to run off with this project so yeah i think let's click here to bring all the layers so yeah okay we can get rid of this this was just to show the concept but you knew you know it's not clearly um represented very well so i need to uh, to model this so that when i when i go to site and issue the drawings it becomes more easier for the contractor and everyone who is involved even the client because he was was too worried about how the drainage will be issues of leakage and other likes and said so, no don't worry um this project will be a success yeah so let's move to the next point which is this um let's uh, pick it this guy and then control to add a copy i think let's move it by this point get rid of the the circle we have to make sure let's make sure it's uh, i'm gonna say show all i'm going to make sure the height it's correct especially on the control l to bring the layer system i have a layer combination that i know i'll bring everything active in the model like that so that's how you manage your project oh they're on the same level it's good thing because all my concrete are on the same level oh yeah that's great so let's do the routine for that okay um i'm gonna do the same to let's pick the bend first let's pick the bend click on this part and then also add the bend on this outlet and then i'm going to pick the takeoff add a takeoff here and then add another takeoff there so let's add a straight pipe but before this let's pick a straight pipe like I said, because I'm picking a straight pipe with already flange, this won't 
do me justice because it's fledged. It's not going to glue, uh, bond the connection perfectly. So I need to open the settings and get rid of the flanged to be welded. So that's the most important thing. So now I can pick. I can pick uh, the. Okay, let me do it on 3D. Um, let me say isolate these two guys and then uh, oh sorry I've picked a pipe a straight pipe I'm looking for the no oh, where do you have the where do you have the bend so I need to isolate both the bend and the outlets both the bend and the outlet and five yes then this um keypad is making a lot of noise let me just fix it let me just fix it because it's very annoying okay let's hope now okay now it's perfect right let's brief, um, repeat the previous command for the straight pipe and then paste it there so if you delete this pipe it will select or highlight that bend um, pipe to indicate that they were glued they were perfectly glued so it's important to cross check that as well all right so go back to the roof plane and then here as you can see the straight pipe and the takeoff pipes are not 100 percent aligned so I'll take advantage of the extension and then let's align them that let's align them that way this is going to be a challenge to highlight it. Oh, there we go. Then, perfect. Now I can move this guy's. Uh, where is the point? Somewhere here. Yes. It has to highlight the the pipe that you are you are connecting to to indicate it's successfully um, connected. As you can see, and then we can check this on 3D. Let's show all. Yeah, the system is in place. Oh, sorry, um, fit in the window. Um, it's always a problem when I deal with MAP. Like I said, you need to select one element so that you can do that. Let's see. Let's see, highlight, I mean, hide the layer so that you can able to see your pipe system. So I'm going to add flange to these two pipes. Flange, set the diameter, 120, okay. Nice. All right, so let's move on to the next, which is this area here. I'm going to make a copy of this because now we have um, the whole system i need to speed up the whole process because i can't be repeating the same thing so in this case i will let me do this let me my queue this area f5 what i want to do is uh oh, let me just get rid of this concrete highlight and hide the layer I'm going to do what I'm going to select this this system and then group it because I want to oh my god it group everything so let's go back and uh, ungroup select all these guys and group them to isolate them from the main system so now it gives me a chance to copy the whole system like this by adding a copy on a drag using control then let's mirror so sort of rotate place it to the position get rid of the yes all right now we need to connect it to the system which is pretty straightforward so i think i would select all the straight pipes 
like I said, you need to weld them before. And then, oh, I could have, uh, but it's still fine. Let me just bring them somewhere here so that I have a chance to connect and align these guys. So let's pick parameters of the the takeoff pipe and place the takeoff pipe on the mainstream. Select, align them to the align them to the the of outlet pipe like so and then join it's successfully joined 100% successfully joined this one perfect now we can select the straight pipe go back to its settings and flange them yes and hit ok Perfect. So I think it's enough to have uh, one or two item here. I don't know why I've gone for two outlets here. I don't know why, but three will be sufficient. Okay, I'm going to have another outlet here by the corner. But instead of having too many pipes, like you see here what can I do oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what can I do -la 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 -la, I'm thinking because I'm trying to minimize um, or try to use less pipes you know, as much as possible especially in area where I think is unnecessary because if I have the groupings of uh, outlets here, I can introduce the th second down pipe here, of which I don't think it's. But let me t let me see how I can join it to this one. Okay, so I have to now build a different system so that it can come and join it to this guy somewhere there. Let's see how we can do it. Right, that's a, another challenge. So I'm going to pick these guys and add a copy by control place it here let's mirror it to the other side like that okay so I'm going to position this one by the corner there no I think which one is the best let's rotate This guy is to be and then I'll put this to here or maybe move it back there okay so we're going to have a, a mini problem to solve here let me mark you this so that I can see it on 3d how it's going to be and isolate that extent of fit to window to see okay um i can tell i'm having this pipe that obviously intruding what i want is to join this two this three sorry and then have a pipe that will join to the down pipe somewhere here down here so that was the whole idea but all right what I'm going to do is maybe select, let's get rid of this pipe, sorry, and then pick the bend or pick the bend tool, click on this, let's bend it to this direction, right? I hope I'm making sense. I hope it works maybe let me change the bend radius of this pipe under general settings to 150 yes I think this way it will work and then I'll have a straight pipe going all the way like that so that this one 
let's get off the flange and weld it for easy connection hmm, it's going to be too tight here I'm telling you it's going to be too tight all right let me move this back to there I think I can also increase the radius to 200. Bring back this guy to the connection, which is here. Nice. And then uh, let's take the takeoff pipe parameters. Go back. And then we're going to. Let's see on the three on the plane. Do we have access to this pipe? Let's see. No, we cannot do it here. But we can still do it there. If I hover, yes, it will pick that and then click on it. Indicate the direction. So what I need to do is to join them. I would move it horizontally like that. Just move it somewhere here first so that you can have a window to see this point All right so take the point and then glue them mm -hmm. let's uh, reduce the length of this to the and then I'm going to zoom in so that I can see both pipe anchor points so that it can be easier for me to glue them perfect they are now glued are now glued let's see for this pipe we're going to have a takeoff here yes let's pick the parameter of this one here and then we can hover to find the midpoint and it's going to be on this direction perfect so let me um, do this stretch this to somewhere here so that I can um, move this horizontally to align it with this pipe perfect let's have a clear view for connection by moving the node stretch 100% alright that's basically what I wanted um, to, to have and then let's see how we can join it with uh, this pipe so instead of having a let's go back and turn this to welded all right and then uh, let's see let's see it has to be almost uh, somewhere here somewhere there's to be let me see I have to pick the curve bring it down yes I think it can be successful okay let me adjust my MyQ because it cuts We'll do it somewhere there. If it's possible, let me hide this layer. Yes, so that I can have a clear picture. If possible, this has to be in line with that. But I can see it's not going to be the um, option. But anyway, let me not try to be stingy. I have a straight pipe running all the way to here I can copy the whole system from there yes these ones and control shift D to duplicate place it there so I need to take off the flange so that they can be welded yeah as you can see now once I'm done, let me re reactivate all the flanges. We have a flange here, another one there, another one there, another one there. 
so change this to flanged hit ok right supposed to have a flange also here. here there's no way you can have a flange because it's see it's tight it's tight and I get it I understand it and but we can do much better than we can do much better we can do much better we can do much better even this one it failed to flange it here or maybe we change the width okay this one Let's see. This one. Okay, this one is fine. Except here and there. Let's add a flange on one side. Okay, this one is just going to be twenty. No way we can have a system like this. So what I need to do is to change the bend radius of this pipe to back to one fifty. So, so that you can have this maybe somewhere there. Let's see how it is. I still believe it's not accurate. Let's let's bring back again to maybe hundred because the tight space. Yes, if we stretch this pipe all the way to there, let's see. Now we have a lot of room here of the pipes. So yeah, what I need to do is to connect this um, bend to this pipe and then I have a straight pipe to join it with the other one, with the other bend there. So I think I would need to hide all the layers, even this concrete, yeah, so that I remain with a clear view. So what I meant, let's move a flange to this so that we can able to connect let's move this guy to there perfect and then here I can use a straight pipe but without a flange because there has to be a relationship there something like this and then let's glue them together number one Nice. We can bring the flange back. Flange. This one, I think we need to increase the height of the flange to 120. But for these ones, let me reduce the the flange width to 25. Yeah, something like this because it's on a tight um, space. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, as you can see, so let's say show all in 3D so that you can see the entire system. Oh, what's going on? I keep select one. Yes, okay. Let's go back to the roof plan right now. We can get rid of this 2d information right so let's bring all the layers okay so yeah we are having yes this is a different situation to address as well because we're draining off this um what do you call this roof slab let me show you in 3d how it looks let me mark you this area It will be sloping by one degree to the side, but what we want, no, to the to this corner really. So what we want, we want to collect to have an outlet here. I think it's a small space. We can have one outlet there, but we need to indicate the direction of the falling of the slab. I don't think here it's represented well. We can have a channel to this point, like so. Yeah, we want to have two channels going all the way there and going all the way like that I hope it makes sense I think I could have represented this one better let's go back and 
we need to have a channel that will go all the way to here or to this corner this channel will carry the water to the yes and then I'm going to have another channel to here okay now I see why this is wrongly positioned because it was supposed to address water that is coming to this area you get what I mean yes I will address it later or oh, maybe the channel can run straight to the middle of this no big of a problem this one also it can run right to here not a big of a problem yes perfect and uh, let's uh, take I think here I'm going to just have one outlet so I'm going to group because it's going to take here and then all the way let's say edit there and then I'm going to have uh, also the parameters of the band 2 Let's get rid of the circle. Rotate it to that direction. Right. And then uh, we're going to have a straight routine to down there. So let's see. Um, what can I do? Okay. I'm going to isolate this two guys like so and then I'll pick the height of this point by hitting ctrl Z and copy the coordinate the Z coordinate to your routing system or to your routine tool and then go back here what we need to do is to start routine I'm going to pick it there go it all the way here let's drop it down by negative six meters I don't know why let me try something less maybe three meters and then it's going to discharge to this direction something like this let's see it on 3d this will be the only could have positioned the the outlet to the surface of the concrete we didn't I, I just assumed they are on the same level with the others but they're not let me undo and then let's do that first oh sorry my cue this yeah let's move this guy down there and then we're gonna move up by Five. Yes. Oh, there's a bit of a problem here. You can see it's exposed to the concrete, and uh, that will be a challenge. Let me say F5 to isolate. What can what can I do? I can reduce the length of this guy. Let me go here. The length of the pipe go to general which is C let's make it half and then we move this let me see let me see let me see let me see 40 let's move this guy up and then let's show all and see if it doesn't affect the concrete no now it's buried on the concrete which is great but what we need to do is to pick now the let's hide the concrete and pick the height the new height because once we adjust the need to pick over cursor there z and copy let's paste the coordinates there right let's start our routine pick the center of the bent pipe 
go all the way here now we're moving down by 1.5 or it and then the direction of discharging will be somewhere there and then finish let's see yes this will be the only part this will be the only part where pipes are exposed because of it's hidden even if you're coming from this direction you cannot see the pipes so that's why we're having exception there and then this guy needs to go and then we can stretch this one up a bit let's take this guy to the right don't forget to slope this by using the elevate when us just slope it a bit like that let's pick the straight pipes and add flange flanged it's supposed to be 120 okay and then this one i'm going to only flange one side the main two is going to be welded like so 100 percent great yes if we show all layers you'd see your pipes up in bed how i wish i could see i could show the or display or the slopeness and the grooves of water and the concrete i don't know how i do it but i'll come up with a plan don't worry you'd see i'll come up with a plan you know what i can do as well i can use a i can use a move tool to achieve that is it possible yeah it is not a move tool i would use a uh, what do you call a mesh tool right right i came up with an idea guys i think this will be very interesting let's try slow because at the end of the day we're going to finish um apply some waterproofing to this concrete and the waterproofing detail normally you'd have a layer of um maybe sand blinding i have a detail let me just show you a detail that i i made under let me see sections and details yes wait 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 come on 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 all right it's between this one you see there's um a torch on waterproofing applied to a reinforced concrete slab as you can see that layer is around uh let me open this let me open uh, this view so that you can see you can change the i don't know you can able to see with this graphics but let's just so you see there's a layer of 50 millimeters and then it has also a 10 millimeter layer as well so that's the process it's 60 millimeters layer so what we are going to do here i think let me close off uh let me close off this first but we're left with this area and then that for but anyway let me address this situation first because i came up with an idea i'm eager to share with you so let's change the profile to architectural profile all right let me hit save i forgot to save been working without saving and then we're going to use a mesh tool for the situation that will be very interesting because I would want to demonstrate it also on the 3D so that when I explain to the contractor and the engineer, it makes sense. So let me say, go to the mesh tool. I'm going to set the layer for this to the roof waterproofing, roof insulation, right? And then change the material to insulation or damp roof, damp roof membrane, right? Then open settings under classification and properties let's set this to be to be a under shell superstructure roof um roof deck slab sheeting yes roof construction supplementary components 
Okay, let me just use this one. Okay. And then I can come here and give it a description. So the description will be from this guy, which is this. Double click here. Copy. We will have a plan. Go back. Oh, sorry. Go back to our mesh. Open it settings. Let's paste that description here. And then hit OK. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw using a construction a geometry method of polygon. I'm gonna draw points like that. Perfect. I'm going to have another one starting from there, going all the way. No. Oh, there's a problem. Well, on the way to here. I didn't draw it nicely here. This point because it has to be right here yes and then this one would be here okay it's easy and then i'll have another one that will be from here like so and then go all the way to there and then it will come there Let's delete now the lines, the 2D lines, so that it makes sense. Where is it? I'm going to add another point. It should be here. Okay, and then this will be straight. Yeah, yeah. That's where all of these guys are meeting. Let me see this one. Let me highlight all of them so that you can see. Oh, this has to be in the same position with that. Perfect. So let's select our slab and then isolate this in 3D. So you see, so this guy is going to be, like I said, 50. That's 50, right? And then let's move them to the top, okay? That's 50 and then what I'm going to do is uh, this one I'm going to raise it a bit up a bit up here by elevating the height because mesh you can do that that's why I've opted to use a mesh tool because it will give me the opportunity to create kind of uh, um, a slope I'm going to add that 10 on top of 50 to be 60 let's say it's going to be 10 right yeah, it's going to slope gentle a bit to that point i'm going to do the same no no i think it's fine it has to slope this direction and then uh, this one would have to this one is going to be challenging let's say we move it up by 10 It doesn't make sense here. Okay, why can't I take it from the corner instead of here? Let me undo. I think I would take it from right by this corner. Yeah, that's where the, the meeting will be. So this side also I'm going to raise it. Sorry, by 10. And then maybe also this side is going to be 10 yes it won't show but it will be gentle slope it will be gentle slope okay but it doesn't show the lines but i'm interested on the lines you know what i can do as well i have an idea to show the lines let's let's go for a solid um a solid mesh instead of separating them like that so let me just do that oh i'm gonna delete them first sorry about guys to uh put you going to go into circles but it's worth it just hang on a bit i'll show you what i'm thinking so i'm going to have 
this like that and then move it to the top here and then I'm going to have the lines coming from here to this point and that way I'm going to have another one to this corner yes just need two lines and then uh, I need to select this mesh and activate the mesh tool in your two palettes and then um, press and hold your your space bar in your keyboard and then you see the uh, whatever the cursor will change into a magic wand tool click on the lines and then fit to all ridges hit ok do the same to this line and then hit ok as well so if we check on 3d the lines will be placed and what i can do now is to take this point raise it by 10 yes and then take also this point raise it by 10 so now we'll be safe knowing that our yeah by 10 our i think let's drop let's drop this by 10 drop this a bit by 10 same applies here by 10 yes so if you look at it gently it slopes and it creates this uh, um, grooves where water will be falling and that's how you should be that's a good approach guys i was i'm so impressed about this idea right i'm really impressed and then this is the place we are having our our collection point because we've managed to direct the water that comes from the slab to the outlet of which mwah, that was perfect you can cut a section so that we can see let me move it somewhere here let me cut a section to the here oh, instead of moving this let's cut a part wall section click and open with current settings yes you can see a gentle slope coming from there all the way to the collection point and water will be collected here down this uh, down pipe all the way to the surface superb stuff great stuff very impressive let's see in relation to the other Okay, I have to create a, a pen set that will address the, the plumbing because you can see here it's, it looks huge. But now the outlet needs to rest on top of the, the insulation material. That's another a point. So let's move it to the top there. I think I'll move it by five something like this and then this can be stretched to there right so that's how you do it right we're almost about to <laughs> encroach to the surface you can see so our pipe it's almost exposed so these are margins that we are working with right so let's show all in 3d and appreciate this in 3d all right doesn't get better than this okay so i need to do the same to the other um concrete slab yes i have different types of concrete slab there i also need to do the same okay so there's another challenging system that we have here we're going to have some outlets um, somewhere here and then this is going to run on these columns and we have a takeoff pipe or a discharge pipe coming all the way into this beam and then to run down to this column and the discharge is going to be somewhere here right it's very interesting okay so let's let's do it 
we're not going to um, leave all the stones or one stone and ten we're going to turn all the stones because um, what is this line for let me see okay no, that's your that's okay all right so what we need to do we have an outlet another outlet here I don't think this is important we can have an outlet there because we're having this side it doesn't have a pipe at all this side doesn't have a pipe at all sorry outlet at all and it's a long strip but uh, there's no way we can have an outlet here because it's affecting the internal part of the, the uh, building. So we are trying to avoid and come up with a strategy to avoid a worst case scenario by when the pipe leaks or the best. So it becomes a challenge or the damage will be a lot when the pipes are in the, at the center of the building. I like outside. See, my all my pipes are going around the building of which they don't affect anything and they are accessible we can make them easy accessible so that we don't have a even if i open the section i'll show you what i can do but here they're not accessible but when they are baked on the concrete there's no way they can leak that's 100 percent uh, sure that's 100 percent sure Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue with this. Uh, let me pick this one there. Let's see first. Here I would have one, one, one outlets. So what I'll do, I would use uh, this and that, something like that. Control Shift D to move a copy. Then I have another one here. And the other one there, the other one there, right? So we have a, a routine that will go all the way to there and then the, down there. So let me convert this into a welded pipe. And then what we need to do is to get the height of the pipe first. So. Uh, I'll put the cursor there and then Z copy the coordinates go back to the roof plan oh we need to convert the profile to MAP MAP engineering let's paste our value there and then start routing I'll pick this point and then go all the way like that when it gets here we turn it to down so this will be oh sorry this will be negative 800 going down this we won't have a discharge because it's just running down so i'm gonna say finish like so and then we can maybe check on three but we know what the outcome we know what's the outcome so let's just finish the remaining ones quickly um, take out the flange for this ones and then what is this it's a grid line it's fine it's going to disturb us when you're placing the what you call the off taker let's go back here and get the parameter of the off taker and place it there we have another one here right make sure they are aligned same to this one oh, sorry they are aligned with the other pipes so let's join them stretch this to there and it doesn't show they are connected i don't know why maybe they are not sharing the same height but they should share the same height let's select all this and 
I'm going to isolate them. Hit F5, F5 to isolate. And then let's see. Pick this point to the. There is a problem. Why these guys are not connecting? Let's try this one. Something is weird here. I don't know what it is. But strangely, these guys are not connecting. Okay. Let me go back here. But this pipe should be the same with this one. Okay, let's go back here. But if we bring this here, then boom, nothing. I cannot tell you what's the problem, guys. I really don't. I really don't know. Um, let me just leave it this way. But this is exactly the same thing we've been doing all over, all over again for the whole but that's accurate sometimes for you. Maybe there's something that I'm doing wrong. Um, let me know in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this. And I'm interested to hear your opinion. I don't know why I've tried. You've seen I've tried to troubleshoot, but it doesn't. Um, on the cases like this, I know I've tried my best. I will just leave it that. I'll come back later if I have fertilized my... I came up with a vitalized um, approach, but now because I've tried to do everything um, on a good practice, but I, I don't deserve this. So let me just delete um, two D lines and then trans um, makes this to be a, a flanged. Set it back. Right. Something is weird about this. Okay, let me do give it a try for the last time. This approach maybe to work. Let's delete these guys. Okay, let me delete one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this guy and this guy. Copy him there. Make sure it's on the center. Move this at the back. Take out the flange. Let's see. Starting to suspect the takeoff. Let's delete that and redo the takeoff. And I'm going to use from the tool itself. Let's see, take off that way. Centralize it. Yeah, I think it's a takeoff. Maybe something happened. But still, no, they are not aligned 100%. This one again. Can see they're not hundred percent aligned. So let's do this, and then, oh, guys, ah oh, no. Anyway, I'll leave it for another day. <laughs> I'll leave it for another day. Yeah. Okay, let me try something for the last time. I'll delete that so I have uh, this right 
So if I try run a routine from no, I think let's go here. Let's pick the height of that Z copy then paste. Let's try run a routine. From here, you see now it's. I can tell it's snapper and recognizing another system. Let's click on it and then, okay, let's click on it and then let's say finish. It didn't connect. I thought it would connect <laughs> um, automatically, but it didn't. Let's say. What if we add an off taker here and then make sure it's straight? What if we join them? Hey, round of applause, bubbles, bubbles popping. Wow, wow. Oh, I even forgot what, I, what I've done. <laughs> okay, so I think I had to do a routine again from scratch let me get rid of this one and then start the routine again there and start it to recognize that click and then click let's finish let's say um, this pipe we bring it back and then uh, let's try to join them Okay, this might be not straight. This might not be aligned. Let's see if we try to be. Oh, I need to have a new takeoff because this one. Yeah, I think the problem might be the takeoff, like I said before. Let's pick a new takeoff and then place it there, show it that way. Let's align it with this. Let's try some magic. Uh, no way. Okay, I'm going to delete this too, right? And uh, you know what? Why would I waste my time? I have a better option to select these guys like that. Drag a copy to the nice. So if I delete, if I delete this pipe, it will recognize the pipe is deleted. Right. No worries. 100% uh, perfect. Let's add a flange to these guys. The width is 120. Yeah. Perfect. Let me save. Whew. That was a long one. Yes. Okay. Um, this area here is the one that I've started experimenting the whole um, system. So now I'm having an issue there because the pipes are not showing and the because there's a, a root here. Let me try see if maybe I can um, let me mark you here. Yeah. And then go all the way like that. F5. And then let's see. Yeah, that's the system that I'm talking about. But this one, I don't think I made it because of the first one I was trying testing around. So we don't necessarily need to have this. We can have it continue all the way on one pipe. We can get rid of this and then uh, get rid of the band and then the whole system. From here to 
to there. It should be straight. Let's see. Stretch this back and then let's glue them. I'm going to glue yes. Then I'm going to have an off take out there. So I have already something like that. But I don't know why it's not showing the whole system in 30. Maybe it says home storm so it's roof level. It has to show. It has to show guys. I don't know why. Home story and one up. Let's see. It's not represented. We say right click in in front. Okay, I need to bring it front. I mean that's the problem. That's the problem. Do it front. Send it to backwards. Okay, and this it has to be under classification of plumbing, All right? Why they are not like the other ones? On a different color, I don't know what happened. Let me pick parameters of that of level general under MAP custom visualization. Everything is fine. What's wrong with this, guys? Oh, because of that, All right? But still. Maybe it's the system or oh, not yet. Maybe it's the system. It should be under stormwater drainage system so that it can turn into that. Same to this guys. This has to be under system. See, let me select all of them. Now I know the problem. There has to be. Oh, it has to be on storm water drainage system. Let me just do them on 3D. One, two. Should be your pipe straight. These are on my straight pipe. It's supposed to be storm water. Same applies to you. I can keep parameters of this. And then the band also. We have another band here. It has to be storm water. Same applies to you. Quite enough. What happened in this case now? to be under storm mode. Yes. All right. And then now, I don't think I need this pipe because I can run a straight pipe like that. Or maybe it means we cannot have a straight pipe of that distance. No wonder. No, it's practical. Let me leave it this way. It's practical. So move it to the right. And then I can stretch this to nice. So this whole system it has to show. On 2D, I don't know why it's not 
But I would try by almost to say bring it front. You cannot bring it front on 3D. That's the problem. Okay, maybe. Okay, we go. Of match, I can group. Yeah, right click. Print front. Print okay, nice. Managed. Problem solved. Only this area here. One, two, three. Right click. Bring it front. Okay. Oh, this maybe needs to send backward. Print okay. What's going on? Send it back. Bring it forward. Bring it forward. Bring front. Bring front. Oh my god. There is a challenge here. Okay, nice. send this to back anyway for now then what's going on there for now what Guys, there. Okay, our pipe system or our data system is now complete. I think we should be proud of ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. So now it will be the issue of annotation. So avoiding information like that. This will be yes. Okay. Lastly, to be now doing the waterproofing for this um, slab, what are the peak parameters of uh, this? Uh, what you call mesh? This peak parameter is mesh, and then I'm going to use a geometry method of polygon, and then go peak points there, or I select this slab, hit down Control F isolate it i'm going to use it to place by control sorry by shift hold to activate the magic wand like that right and then it has to be above or on top of the roof slab move it to the top and then we're going to um, embed lines to make grooves on it to direct our water to some certain points we want okay we have points here we're going to have another point there so that will be the line we're going to use and then we're going to use this line as well so let's try select our mesh and then let's con change the profile to architectural activate the mesh tool like we did before and then click on the line and fit to user edges do the same to this one and hit ok right that's basically it. if we check on 3d now we would have all this so what i'll do i'll pick this point drop it down or if i drop this point let me add a height of 10 millimeters to this area and then we're going to add another 10 to this area Right, so that can slope to this direction and then this part I'm going to drop down by 10 do the same to this drop down by 10 so if you come here closely you'd see it's dropping it's a gentle slope because that's the collection point of our 
coaching point of our our water so we can get rid of what the lines and then we need to take our our mesh bring it to front like that we have too much of the lines now to get rid of these lines we can go on the roof let's see under so on the settings let's see under model this is only 3d appearance one Oof. we're having a problem here because uh it's not going to happen like that let's undo undo redo undo 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 Undo, 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 undo. Okay. Instead of having it, okay, let me start for the last time. Yes, instead of having it that way, what I'll do, I'll separate or demarcate it. Let's just separate it here. And separate there so that we can have. Two different we don't need this point I'm going to bring it to front we don't need oh we don't need this point This has to be straight there, and then it has to be that way. Yeah, we don't need this line. For example, we have to add activate the tool and add only this line. If it reduces, and then I'm going to raise this part to, to ten. Simple. Let's see on 3D. Yes. I can also raise this part by 10. This part also by 10. Let's check on 3. I mean, on plan view. Perfect. Now we see a direction to, to the collection point number one. That's what we wanted. So let's get rid of the polyline. Delete. And do the same to this one mesh activate the mesh tool space bar and hold click on top of the line yes and then oh, it's not showing sure 3d it's f1 we're going to raise this part to 10 and then this part to 10 we're going to do the same to this part okay to this part then, yes, let's check first on 2D. Yeah, we can see now the direction to the okay. Now it's well represented. Okay, guys, let me call it a day. Thanks very much for tuning into this video. I hope you've managed to make it to the end. Let me thank you once again if you made it to the end of this video. Um, yes, I'll keep on sharing with you. Keep tuned for new videos about this project because we still have a lot to share we are yet to do the details for for the cinema as you can see we just did just the basic um for just the contractor and the engineer to start calculating his bending moment for the concrete pouring of the city so we still have a lot to to cover for this project and uh, we're going to produce a manual book a set of a3s for as a manual book as thick as um, more than 50 centimeters I mean 50 millimeters sorry um, yeah we will see keep tuned thank you